you've joined us here from Family Gamer TV. Uh, we had a few questions on our Minecraft video, which I'll link to below, about um, Minecraft Pocket Realms, which is the online multiplayer service for Minecraft Pocket Edition. Um, so I thought I'd make another video to explain a few more of the features in a bit more detail. Uh, there's also been an update recently, I think it was yesterday, to the service, so it's a good time to check on it and uh, see how it's doing. So let's have a look. So here we've got the new home screen that came with the most recent update of Pocket Edition. It uh, looks quite different from the other one. Um, the way it's set out is you've just got the normal play here for just when you want to play single player and then play on realms here for when you want to play on the online multiplayer uh, on the new realm service. There's also the settings button here where you can change all kinds of options like change your in-game name and stuff like that. Um, all kinds of complicated stuff here about graphics and things like that. Okay, so if you go on Realms, this is probably what you'll see at the moment um, if you don't have a server and if you're lo locked in. Um, welcome to the Minecraft Realms Alpha, we're still testing out features, eventually Realms will let up to 10 Pocket Edition users play together online. It's currently free and limited to a set amount of servers, um, but it'll be an optional paid service once it's released. Uh, so when it does come out, uh, out of the Alpha and everyone's able to get it, you'll have to pay for it. I think it's a monthly fee. Okay, so I'm just going to take the iPad away and log in, and then I'll show you what happens when you do that. Okay, so to log in you need a Mojang account, um, but that's free, so you can sign up for that now if you want to. Um, you also have to pick your name and you can't change it, so mine is Jordan Erica, that's my first name and my middle name. Um, and I won't be able to change that now unless I sign up for a new account. And this is what you'll see when you've logged in. If you've got any servers that you're invited to or any servers of your own, they'll come up here. Um, you can also, if you click this, you can edit your own servers. Um, there should also be a new button up there if there are any servers available, but there aren't at the moment. Um, you have to jump in uh, when, a good thing to do is to follow the people behind Minecraft Pocket Edition on Twitter because they often tweet when servers are available and then you can kind of try and jump in and get one. Uh, so one thing to notice here is that it's got a green light which means that it's open. Um, if I check here, I can close it as well. Uh, these are all the people that are invited. Uh, they're my brothers and sisters, and that's the name of the server. Um, before this update, that kept changing for no reason. It kept cutting off the end letters, but that's stopped now, I think. Um, so it says there is zero out of ten people, but it always says that at the moment, even when there are people in the server. Uh, hopefully they'll change that with the next update. Obviously this is an alpha, so you can expect some bugs. If I go on here... Okay, <laughs> this is how I can tell it's not going to work because the loading bar isn't moving at all. So what I want to do is edit this. Oh, unable to connect. Edit this, and I need to add myself to the server. And I worked this out through trial and error, but unfortunately some people, I've seen some YouTube videos where people have said you have to set up another account for yourself other than the one that you've used to open the server, and that's not true if you just invite yourself. Uh, you can see, yeah, look, it's changed the name. Oh, okay, it did. Okay, yeah. If you invite yourself, then you should be able to go on your server. Yep, there we go. See, it's working fine now. And sometimes the servers are down and it won't load at all, but it has been better recently. Okay, so I can see the world that I've generated on my server and basically anyone that I invite to play will be able to join me in here up to 10 people in total you can have a look around because I told my brothers and sisters to build something but it doesn't look like they have also it's night time which doesn't make for good viewing but aside from that everything's much the same as it would be if you were playing local multiplayer um, you've got the little chat up here which apparently has been improved uh, with different, let's try that again, different keys, um, so you can type in different languages, but that might be something that you have to access another way, but basically all I can do is just kind of say hi, how are you, and it's no longer capitalising my words, which is awesome. Uh, I don't think there's actually anyone on at the moment on my server. My sister was on earlier, but I may have kicked her out when I turned off the server. And it doesn't look like they've built anything, so I'm going to have to have a word. But yeah, basically that's Minecraft Pocket Realms, uh, and it's closing down now for absolutely no reason. 
so that's probably a good time to stop. <laughs> Bye.